kick now. What a great kick. So a chance for the Gold Coast Suns. Howarth got her first touch. Gets high up the ground. The kick to space. Kasler starting forward. She's dropped off Gooch, who fell to ground. If she can pick it up, she can run into goal. Leah Kasler, not a noted goal kicker. How will it bounce? Perfect start for the Gold Coast Suns. Smart football there and, and solid start. Oh, no. Oh, kick the wrong way. That was a kick the wrong way. Yeah, out of bounds on the yep. full, so it's gifted Fremantle a free kick. It's mortifying, isn't it, when you do that? Yeah. That's the first thing you say, I know. So Roxy Roo's going to go with the banana. She struck it beautifully. Roxy Roo with the rock star finish. One from a Gold Coast perspective, but she hasn't kicked a goal this season yet, Roxy Roo, so it's great for her. Seven, Bevan, six, and Howarth the five, Prigelli five. Done, their captain five. And there is Prigelli with another intercept disposal. As we said, second in the competition, averaging over 10 intercept disposals a game. Aaron's under pressure. Great chase from behind for Duffy. So hopefully their inaccuracy doesn't come back to bite them, although Gold Coast might have made a meal of this. The handball missed the target. Opens up an opportunity for Gabby O'Sullivan over the shoulder, and that's a nice finish. Something out of nothing for the Fremantle. So Gold Coast is shooting themselves in the foot at the moment, and Miller, that's a beautiful pass, found Houghton, dropped the chest mark, gave the handball to Antonio. She's usually a good finisher, and Fremantle have got two in two minutes. Good work by the Suns, got back in defence. And now it's a hard footy to be won. A lot of numbers around this ball. Some sore bodies too. Cracking in. Got to be careful here not to be paid holding the ball. And she is. So the youngster, Sarah Verrier, in her first season. Kicked the one behind. Had nine disposals last week. It's a nice kick for goal. Fremantle have got their third. And they've broken this one open. Loves to take the game on, on the wing. Goes towards half forward. Verrier already kicked one goal this afternoon. Got it to Hayley Miller, being busy. Can she cap off her good work with a finish? She can. That's a class finish from Hayley Miller. Laura Pugh with the football inside the centre square. As we tick down the five minutes left in this game. It's been all Fremantle after half time. Gabby O'Sullivan being one of the best on the ground. Can she cap it off with her second goal? Yes, she can. They only had two goals at half time and kicked five goals in the second half. Round three against Adelaide, they only had two goals in the first half. Pulled on six in the second half. And again, they've done the same. Just one goal at half time and they've already pulled on five. They've got some elite uh, rebound 50 players, some really good defenders in their side. Stewart again will send it into the pocket. Sharp this time takes the chess mark in the pocket. Loves getting one through the big sticks. Can she finish on a positive note? She can this time. And finally the Dockers get it through the big ones and they get their seventh for the afternoon. But the siren will sound at any moment. And from quarter time onwards, it was really one-way traffic for the Fremantle Dockers. They piled on the last seven goals of the game and they run out comfortable 49-point winners.